Hi there, it's Nanette again. So our next question came from Pauline. Now Pauline is based right here in Tauranga where I am and I've had the wonderful privilege of having her in some of my classes. Uh, Pauline, I just love to see how you embrace this craft and um, you're trying all sorts of different things and just experimenting and having fun with it. I just love it. So um, Pauline sent us this question about making a wraparound for candles or um, for tins. Okay, so she sent me th this picture. So Pauline made these beautiful little geese to go all the way around a tin and her question was about which filler to use for these designs. So my first answer to Pauline was that I never do high relief designs on anything that goes around something, especially not in a, in a long strip, because it's really tricky, tricky to fill it um, and then to wrap it around your tin and still have your surface nice and smooth and not have your filler cracking. Okay, so Pauline tried to do it with glue because she was a little bit afraid that the, um, the beeswax would crack and it wouldn't sit nice and tight on her tin. Okay, so she used a glue which then ran out unfortunately but this is actually what she was able to do and i think it came out just beautifully so even though she says that the little geese um, aren't as high as she made them originally i think she did a brilliant job so well done pauline so if you don't want to use beeswax for this you can try and use silicone that you use for um, a sealant for your bathroom tiles and things because it's a little bit more malleable and it gives you a longer time um, to dry so you might have some success with it my tip would be to not raise these designs as high i would actually just go low relief on them you know just a single raised line so you don't have to fill them but if you want to try it you can um, like i said try silicone or you can try and use um, polyfiller I'm not a big fan of it. I know there's a lot of uh, metal artists who use like a poly filler or a, um, it's like a cement filler that takes ages to dry, which is why I don't like it. Um, and it's a little bit messy. It's also quite sandy, so it can scratch your surface if you get it onto parts that are not raised. Okay, so my best tip for this would be trial and error. Play around, see what works. Um, even after 16 years, I still learn. I'm still experimenting. Some things work like a charm and others just don't. So, <laughs> so um, this is just the beauty of metal embossing. Okay, so Pauline, um, well done. I think you did a brilliant job. And yeah, keep those questions coming, guys. Hey guys, so on the topic of making tins with uh, metal wraparounds, I just wanted to show you a quick project that I did a little while ago. And what I did with this one is I actually covered the whole tin with metal tape and then I made these little hearts in colored metal and you can see that these ones are raised. So then I just cut them out and I stuck them onto my tin. Okay, because on a round surface it's quite tricky to get your, your raised filled designs to sit nice and flat. Okay, so this is one strategy to do it, is to cover your, t your, your tin or your candle with um, metal tape or even uh, aluminium or pewter and then doing your actual raised designs as singular raised designs, cutting them out and sticking them on afterwards. Okay, so I hope that helps you.